hello and welcome to another Jail Goals Off video. Um, today I'm doing a general play round, but I'm going to record six holes of it, so it's going to be a little six hole Stapleford round. Um, just played the first. Um, not great to be honest, I topped it off a tee, topped my second one. It lovely hybrid on, then three putted for a six. So, the first hole I'm going to be recording on is the par five third. I'm going to do the third, fifth, and sixth. And then on the back nine, I'm going to do 15, 17, and 18. I'm going to do two par threes, two par fours, and two par fives. Right, made it round to the third hole. First on the camera. So a little six hole uh, state for the round today. Par fives, round to Osbridge. Yeah, it's not what I wanted that. Straight in the bunker, right in the front of it as well, so I've got to carry all the bunker to go over it. Not a great shot, seeing Oz playing for position with an hybrid. Not really started great, to be honest. Um, double bogey, bogey start, three putted both holes. Just took a hybrid off the tee with a massive fairway down there, and so I'm out put it in the bunker, so uh, not looking good so far. I think it is going to be a very slow round. We've got two four balls in front of us. We are only two balls, so can't really expect to fly around. Hopefully I can take a nice shot out of the bunker, put me proud onto the green, still make a par at least. Alright, as you see, two shot well in the bunker. You can take a seven on, lay it up down there. Give yourself a nice easy shot on. Not doing any good for thinking this at all. Yeah, again, another awful shot for me there. Just made it over the bunker, fortunately enough, but. It's going to leave me a long, uh, long shot in for me third shot now. Pin is at the front by the looks of it, so hopefully I can put one on there and still give myself a birdie putt somehow. I've right, got about 150 to the front, a bit downwind. Uh, it's going to go nice easy eight iron, a bit of short and long here. on the green somehow but a bit long. I'll take that from there, gives yourself a birdie putt. Right, well birdie putt here. That has to be the boys who Was a bit of a weak birdie attempt there, but I free putt the first two holes, so I just wanted to make sure it won another free putt. Lovely putt for bad badass there, though. Two little tapping pars for us. Love that. Right, fifth hole, my second. Par on the first. Not sure about here. Don't know if it's a good thing or not. Yeah, it's a bit low, but chase out there, right in the middle of the fairway. All right, not my greatest drive. Must admit, it's come off a bit low, but just chase. Oh, I just carried the sort of dip in front of the tee there and chased out not too bad. So still gonna have a fairway in. It wasn't the greatest strike, but middle of the fairway, so I can't complain. Gonna grab another par at least there. Well, I've got my second shot in here, got about 175 to the back, a bit downhill, downwind, going to go smooth six iron I think. I think it's just rolled off the back right of the green I think, just didn't stop. This green is quite hard to stop as well, I must admit, even though it is a bit damp this morning. But hopefully a little nice up and down, save me par. Right, just over the back there. 
hopefully up and down to palm. Yeah, not the worst tip, just a little bit aggressive with it, that's all. Yeah, I want a bad putt that, just need a little bit more pace for par, but bogey five, still a two-pointer. Well, not the worst bogey there, but um, it was quite an easy chip as well, because I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get up and down for par. It's been a nice little three-pointer, that one. Well, I'm going to play the sixth hole as well. As you know, it's the par three over water. Um, it's not been my best hole of late, really. I've um, really been struggling with it. So um, I hope I can change my fortunes here. All right, fair tee shot, sick foul. It's got a little five on. Yeah, yeah, again, this old strikes me again. Um, I didn't see it splash, but bad I said it did, so be dropping one up there, I think. Right, well, this old strikes me again. Just can't, can't hit a good tee shot down here at the moment. I think the last three or four times I've played it, it's um, been in the water as well. Um, actually, I think I might be able to see mine. What on the edge of the water? Can you see it? I might investigate. I might be playing this. I don't know. I don't know how strong that plastic is to stand on. But, um, yeah, you could, could be seeing an interesting shot coming up next. Right, this could be a horrible mistake, but I'm going to try and play it. Looking at that, not a lot of green to work or anything, but even if I can put one just up there, it's better than dropping one back there. So, see what I can do. Go on. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Think of the points. <laughs> it's still there. Lovely. <laughs> that wet? That's a blob, by the way. Mm, not bad. Yeah, I was trying to hold it, to be honest. Well, I want my uh, wiser decision taking that ball, as I said, but I um, thought it would be quite fun to try and hit one. I did hit an half decent one eventually, just took me three or four attempts. That was a problem, so that was a blob for uh, scoring purposes, obviously, but next hole is going to be 15, I believe. Well, it made it around to the 15th, probably my worst hole on the course, that one in nine, to be honest. But I'm going to vlog it, so I ain't done a lot of vlogging on this one. So, um, she. Um, the par 3, the shenanigans out on there. I think I walked away with an 8, I think I added it up to. Um, so we're going to play 15, 17 and 18. The last three holes. Um, second last hole on the course is all about the tee shot for me, I think. Right, 15th hole, my 4th. It's all about the tee shot. We've got wind helping, but it is pushing it right, which not good towards that water but the rain for that tree down there hopefully a little space back in the middle of the fairway. Oh, that's a little bit open, long enough. 
Yeah, that's the first thing I thought down there, but what a bad shot to be honest, but with that wind pushing it over there, my little fade I'll put on it anyway, didn't need luck to push it over there, but safe, it's just where I got a second shot in. Right, not the worst tee shot for me, just need a little bit of luck, not to be beyond the, beyond the bush down there. Hopefully I've got a shot at the green. It's going to be a long one in because it is a long hole, but um. To say we have got a bit of wind helping but it is off the left a bit as well so looks like we've got a front pin by the looks of it I think got close to that bunker that brings the front bunker definitely in the play yeah I've got five points I think at the moment through three holes so one beyond the handicap um for the 18 holes just been really up and down really not really hold a lot of parts I did have a birdie on 10 um you see the birdie putt I had on seven I think it was the other part five yeah other than that, I ain't really had no birdie putts at all. Not struggling. Sure. I've got a fat all day, really, as well. Hopefully, I've got a shot for me second. Well, I've got about 200 to the front, probably 195 by the time I get to my ball, to be honest. Um, should be an hybrid, really, but it is down in, downwind, so that's what I'm sort of worried about. And as soon as it gets on the green, it ain't going to stop, so I'm going to go four eye, and hopefully, I'll catch it really nice, get a good bounce on there, and it might make it. Up and down for par, don't very often have a chance to park this old, that's for sure. Alright, so okay, just short left of the green, I am trying to get up and down with your par on this old. Yeah, I want my best strike that, come out a little bit thin, so it carried a little bit further and didn't, didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of spin on it either, unfortunately. So, um, bow that's going to give me a good little line here. So I can sink my birdie, uh, my par putt. Show me the way then, bow that's. Bogey, to be fair, want the artist up and down, but I'll take bogey still on the tee, so I can't complain. It's a five for two there. All right, next old 17th, par three. All right, just got to the uh, 17th tee. Uh, it's coming off fifth hole of the day. Um, not too bad a bogey on the last, as I say. Want the artist up and down, and it was a tough hole, but not a bad bogey to get on 15. So, All right, par three, damn win, 157 middle. About 165, you reckon? Bad ass is going nine. Um, I'm thinking maybe seven. Right, I've decided seven irons are cover choice. Bad ass, that's a nice one on there. See you on the following. Straight ball like that. Not too bad a birdie putt, guys. It's going to be uphill, which is a good thing, but then once it goes past the hole, all runs downhill, so you can't really get too aggressive with that, unfortunately. But it's good to get a birdie because if I get a birdie, I may be able to hit my handicap for the 18. I've had sort of got a solid a few holes in a row, about five or six holes, I've uh, got a few two pointers and not meaning I had one or two three pointers in there as well. And I had a birdie on ten which got me four points. So um yeah um, should should shoot in the thirties at least. Which going by my front nine. Quite an achievement really. Alright, birdie cut ah uh, birdie putt coming up. It's a bit of a long one though. Cutting the 
all the dives. Badass for birdie. Can't make that putt for me there. Lovely putt. Go on. Had the line as well, didn't it? Nice par, mate. Probably not bad putt there. As I say, it wasn't, wasn't an easy birdie putt, but nearly sank it. About another six inches of pace, might have had its line and dropped in, but nice par anyway. Right, 18 up next, par five. Two hybrid off the tee for me. Oh, I just added up my score and I had 15 points on the front. It's not bad seeing the how do I add on uh, six as you see on camera. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got 18 points so far on the back and we still got one hole left to play. So it's not the hardest one really. That is a simple three shotter. It's quite easily parable if not birdie. So right, let's see how the two hybrid goes. There's Al Corey, Coach Keats in the blue there. They teed off a couple of hours after us today. They're on the tenth. Let Corey smash it. He's playing some nice golf at the moment. Coach Keats getting back in it as well. That's what he's had his air cut as well. About time. Beautiful shot. Oh, it's an eighteenth fold. Moth on one six. Um, par 5, a little too hybrid up there to the corner. It's 4, uh, four iron down there, and you just have a little slip on with a wedge, that's the plan. Alright, making our way down the fairway. Not bad, so it's a good connection for me. It did start slicing a little bit out to the right. Hope that ain't made it into the first cut. To be fair, first cut ain't bad. It gets in the second cut, I think. Can't see your ball. You don't be hitting a four on from that line, so hopefully I've got a decent line. Get a good four on down there, you can just have a little flick of the wedge in. Right, the wind's sort of behind us and off the, off the left, I think. Not sure. Yeah, it's hard to feel really, but I'm, I'm just going to play it safe and get a seven iron down there, I think. All goes downhill as you can see, so it's good to take out there then. Yeah, it always does down there, but yeah, it wasn't a great strike and only went seven iron. I probably should have gone four really. Just get me down a bit further, I probably might have an eight iron in now to be honest, but we'll see. Right, pins at the front. Got about 130 to the front, a little bit downhill, wind in your face. So I confused myself saying all that, so I'm just gonna smooth eight iron and see what happens. Go, go. Lovely line, but just made it on the path. Might have a path ball down there, I think. But it's not the end of the world, should be. Fairly straightforward chip on. Oh, it's us walking down there. You've got bad asses to the left there. Mine did just make it over the path, to be honest. Just over there, so. As you see, shouldn't be the hardest chip, really. It's nice and flat in front of me. So, hopefully, put a good chip in there. All right, bad ass just putted up to there. Right, up and down, time for a par. Maybe even a bony chip in, who knows? Not the worst chip, a little bit aggressive, but give it a go. Looks a little bit closer from where I chipped it. It's uh, that little distance for me. All right, pop up. Right, I was slightly disappointed in that. I think it would have gone in without the flag in, but let's take a closer look. Main fault for having it in, I suppose. Um, six for two, that's a bit disappointing. Well, I just finished my old uh, Stapleford Brown, uh, six old Stapleford. 
Finished our 12 points for the 6 hole, so leveled my handicap really, so not bad. Just a bit disappointing on the um, on the 18th, that putt would have gone in without the flag, I'm sure of it, but my fault for leaving it in, so you can't complain. But um, yeah, not too bad. Shot um, 90 altogether, 35 points, so not the end of the world. Shouldn't get cut, but I shouldn't go up either, so no damage done. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Till the next one, peace out. Up next on JR Golf Vlogs, six old Stapleford round at Romsey Golf Course. Me, Badass, and Jim, aka Badass's dad. <laughs>